Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to my release day unboxing for Fallout 4, the Pip-Boy edition. Yeah, I got it. I got it. It's mine. You can't have it. So, I got it. I'm here to unbox it. I cannot wait for this game. To, I can't wait to play it. I've been gone the entire day. You don't know how hard it's been. Last night when people were playing at midnight, I was like... Oh, I was so mad. I didn't even get Tomb Raider until today. So I was I was really mad because originally I was supposed to get Tomb Raider last night at midnight, but that didn't work out. So I didn't get anything last night. I just had to watch on Twitter as people were like, Ew, fun, that's so good. I love it. I wish I could play more, but I have to go to sleep. <sighs> Screw you. Now I got it. And I got the Pip Boy edition. I'm going to be playing with my arm on it and shit. I'm going to put my cell phone in and everything. So let's open this. Here's the front, here's the top, side, it says uh, Vault 111, uh, open this side up, I think, open this way up. And uh, it says the same thing on this side, and then on the back, of course, has the, uh, the slip cover, it tells you everything you need to know. A little reflective, but, uh, <clears throat> and again, here's the front. Let's uh, take this slip off. All right, let's take this slip off. Get off that. Oh, there's tape on it. I cannot wait to get this game into my Xbox. <laughs> I can't wait to get into my Xbox so I can play some fan out. Actually, one thing I want to know real quick is what is the install size for this game? It is 40 gigabytes. Okay. I'm actually surprised. I thought it was going to be more. Um, I ended up being way smaller than I thought. That's pretty cool. And uh, this one right here, I'm going to just take it off. I'm not going to rip it off. I'm not going to cut it off. I'm going to take the whole damn thing off. Take it all off, baby. Yeah, show me them guts. Oh, get that out of here. I don't care. I don't give a shit. All right, here's what it looks like without the shininess to it, the reflectiveness. And here's the back. It even has some writing on it. It says... Consult your overseer for more information or refer to the enclosed operational instructions. Fits most human arms. Does not emit alpha, beta, or gamma rays. Does not contain radioactive materials. There you go. That's what it says right there. That's what it says right there. So, let us open this bad boy up. First look. I think that's how you open it. I've seen one unboxing of this so far. You know, let me open it my way so I can actually see what I'm doing. Oh shit, okay, I, I opened it, so now I'll show it this way. Ooh, look at this shit! Look at this shit! You got all this. First of all, you got, of course, made in China. Everybody, it's made in China. Okay, well, I can put it down for now. First, you have the game, which is a steel book of Fallout 4, which is awesome. Fallout 4 is a steel book. Boom. Boom. And you got a little seal there that's not even, it's not even like close. <laughs> it's not even like actually sealed. It's not even sealed, which is fine. That just makes it easier for me. Um, and then you got the disc. And of course, what people actually thought was a season pass was not. It was just a ad for the season pass. Here's what's inside. It's just ads for Dishonored 2 and uh, Doom and Elder Scrolls uh, Online. Tamriel Unlimited, which I still have and still haven't played. Um, and you, of course, get a poster. I don't know why I say of course. Uh, so, yeah. So, here is the poster. Let's show it off real quick. It's actually really nice. I'll be putting this somewhere in my room. Vault Tech. It's all a bunch of different Pip Boys. and It's real fun, real nice. I like it. So, there you go. Pretty funny. I've seen it before on an unboxing. I actually went through it then. Charisma, intelligence, all that stuff. So cool. And you got a little manual in here. Uh, two of them. That's weird. Uh, I guess one's in a different language, I'm assuming. Uh, two Vault Dwellers Survival Guides. Oh, it actually even has a uh, Redeem Your Code for a free copy of Fallout 3. Oh, okay. So wait, I think I got two copies of... Yeah, I got two copies of Fallout 3. So actually, I think I get rid of one of these for you guys. To be honest, I could probably just get rid of both of them because I have Fallout 3. So, hey, if you want 
you know, let's get rid of one right now. If you want Fallout 3 on Xbox One right now and you didn't get this game but you, you, you never had Fallout 3 at all and you have an Xbox One and you can't afford Fallout 4 or whatever uh, and you don't have Fallout 3, here you go. Boom. There you go. There's your code. Put that into your Xbox One and you can have it. Uh, I'll decide if I want to get rid of this one, though. I, mean, I might want to keep a Fallout 3 on um, my console, like actually downloadable. But also, that means no DLC. So, this is, uh, is this the same one? Well, if it's not, you can have that one too. Fuck it. I don't care. And here's the disc. Boom! The disc. And you take it out, and you got some background here. You got a suit of armor from, I'm pretty sure, Brotherhood of Steel. I don't know. I'm not too into the Fallout lore. I know a lot of people is. I know a lot of people be. But, uh, I's not. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I love Fallout. I really do. Fallout 3, at least. That's the only really one I played besides New Vegas. Um, sure, I played the first person ones. I haven't played the tactical, isometric style ones. Uh, so I'm just putting all this stuff back. So anyway, that was the actual game. So now, let's get into the meat of this. What everybody wants to see. Is this Pip-Boy excellent? I'm going to guess yes. It better be. Oh, it actually comes with a little book, too. I actually didn't notice this in the first unboxing, I guess. It comes with a little book on how to actually work the Pip-Boy. That's actually really funny. Look at this. Oh, it's even in black and white and stuff. It looks like old school and stuff. Oh, man, this looks like one of those little books you'd get from, uh... Like, one of those little books you get in school that, like, has, like, a bunch of information for, like, a test or whatever in, like, a very short... Like, what is it called? Ah, oh, what are they called? Uh, let me see if it says it here. Uh, whatever. You know what I'm talking about if you do. If you don't, then you don't know what I'm talking about. I think that's just how it goes. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, here's the plastic. This is like, that's like heavy plastic, too. Keep it safe. And here it is, baby. Enclosed in, in plastic and foam. What everybody's calling a glorified iPhone case right here baby boom and right inside here are the is, is foam oh I think this is the foam that you use if you your phone's bigger than some other ones like if your phone's like small you use one of these other ones or whatever uh, oh and then there's a stand in here as well boom look at this a stand what does it say uh, Pitboy model 3000 MK4 manufactured by Rob Robco Industries for uh, distribution by Vault Tech Corp, not for facility. Uh, okay, does it have like a number on it? Like an actual number? Like, I thought maybe they'll be individually numbered. That would have been cool if they were. Um, and the rest, there's nothing else in the rest. It's just foam to keep it safe when you want to put it back. Well, I'm not. I'm going to probably have this out somewhere and I'm going to have the box somewhere too because uh, that's two display. But anyway, two display pieces. So here you go. Here's the Pip Boy. It looks awesome. It feels pretty sturdy for the most part. Uh, looks great. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, for an additional, what is it, like 70 bucks? I don't know. No, it's a, uh, ooh, sorry. Uh, I think it's uh, 120? I got it for 104 because I got a 20% off. But um, for how much you're paying for, maybe not as a, even has a little tube thing here. Maybe not as worth it, but um, whatever. I don't care. I'm going to put it on. Fuck y'all. All right, it doesn't all it doesn't like come out or come off all the way. How the hell? How the hell do you be work? All right, let me see if I can figure this out. I don't think this comes out all the way. You think it would, but yeah, it does. There you go. All right, so let's see. What's this for? Like this doesn't even look like it. Like oh, here, right here. The the. I'm assuming this is for your hand. I don't know why you need this for your hand, though. But, uh... I think you could just keep it in there. Come on, you stupid strap shit. I think you could just keep your hand in perfectly fine. Ooh. Yeah, screw it. We'll figure it out later. Well, I'll figure it out later. You ain't... Come on. Come on. Get on there. Get on there, you bastard. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that fits well. Look at that. 
Yeah, let me move over here so you can see it better. Boom! Look at that. That fits well and it doesn't even move either. Like it does, it's not moving up or down. I mean, I got a fat arm, so you know, whatever. Um, which is good. Hey, you know, if you're not fat this time, <laughs> we got, we got, we got what it takes for Pip Boy or whatever. Uh, how you open it, bitch? Uh, it even has like buttons you can actually press. You can move these things. I mean, they don't do anything, but it makes it seem like you're actually using a uh, Pip Boy, I guess. Um, it looks pretty cool. I don't know. It looks awesome. It's a great display piece. And from what I've heard, this is uh, easier to get now because uh, uh, GameStop was doing a thing where if you buy a, if you buy like a certain thing, like I think if you buy this would, uh, was it the strategy guide and the game, obviously, because it comes with the game, then you get it for like 180 or something like that, or, I don't know, I don't know what the deal is, but, um, let me put my cell phone in here, how do you open this bitch? To open the screen, I guess. Uh oh, did I get that button stuck in there? I think I got a button stuck. Oh well, I don't really care. Alright, <clears throat> I'll figure it out later. Uh, how do you put the freaking phone in there, though? How do you put it in there, though? Oh, right, right here. I should probably look at the manual. But you know what? I don't need no stinking manual. Screw manual. What manual ever do for me? Besides help me. Uh, also, I will say it gets a little hot in there for your arm. So, um, I don't know. Uh, I get your phone in there. Uh, I should probably look up the instructions. It looks like you're supposed to open this or something. But, um... I don't really feel like figuring it out right now. So anyway, there you go. That was the Pip Boy edition. Uh, I don't even have the, you know, the thing downloaded yet. So it would even look great. I'm sure you could find a place that has it right now, like all set up. So anyway, that's the Pip Boy edition. I'm gonna figure out how to get that button unstuck in there. Yeah, I think that button's really stuck. But uh, I'm pretty sure if I open this, I could probably get this button unstuck. But um, anyway, there you go. That's the Pip Boy Edition. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I can't wait to be playing this. Uh, I don't know if I'll be streaming it. I might actually decide to not stream it just so I can play it myself and have a good time. But who knows? By the time this is, like, you know, uh, actually installed and all that, maybe I'll feel different. So just look out on YouTube and Twitter. Uh, if you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. It's at Gorkus, G-R-A-C-U-S. And I'll tell you guys if I'm going to be streaming this, if you want to see me. Most likely, you guys will be playing this on your own. So let's see what this looks like right before I'm done. Let's see what it looks like on the stand. That actually looks freaking awesome on the stand. So yeah, you might... Whoa! I was going to say you might see this on in the background of other videos, but uh, it's broken now. I just broke it. Fuck it. No. <laughs> I almost broke it though. You might see this in the background of some videos. So anyway, there you go. Thank you. Until next time, get your ass on there, motherfucker. Goodbye.